Hello everybody. Welcome to this edition of the Honey Dealers channel. Um, we're going to do a, another review on the Viking battery charger. Um, I did a video a while back, about a year ago, and we just did an out of the box, what we thought about it. I used it once. Um, but now it's been quite a few months and I've used it and I found out that there is some problems associated with this charger and I want to bring that up to people. I've got a lot of comments. Thank you everybody for your comments um, regarding this charger. So we're going to, you know, tackle some of those issues that we had. One of the things that I do want to mention that it does work. Mine does work. I haven't had any problems with it working you know, the actual function of it. But there has been a few things that I've noticed. Uh, one of the things that I've used a lot for is the recondition function. Um, I'm gonna get a zoom in picture of this, but they have a recondition uh, feature here. I've actually used it on a dead cell battery and it did bring that battery back to life, but it was only for a short amount of time. It worked for about two months and then started dropping again had to do it again. So it's not really like it's really correcting the issue. It's just bandaging it until you can buy a new battery. <clears throat> I have used the trickle charger or the winter mode, which would be a two amp trickle charge on my tractor uh, during the winter months. It seemed to work fine. Um, at the end of the winter, when I went to go start it, it was only at about, um, 10.9 11.1 somewhere in there on the amperage you know uh i mean volts i'm sorry volts on the battery uh still started the tractor it ran as soon as it ran a few minutes the battery was fully charged so it didn't like give it a full 100 charge it would like cycle down wait a day cycle back up but it never really took it to the full charge one of the other things i've noticed is i have a battery right here we're not sponsored by you know the people that you know I bought this battery from but I did notice like um, when you first turn it on it says please put the clamps on and it has a picture of the battery <clears throat> and what I've noticed is you can put the clamps on if the battery is less than 10% charged it will not charge that battery. It will not start charging it. It will not do anything. It will deny the battery. And I feel like that's a bad issue with this charger because the idea of this is it has a 15 amp jump on it. So it actually does two, eight, 15 auto selectable. Okay. So like if I wanted to jump this lawnmower off this is a lawnmower battery and i go out there and it's at zero because i left the key on it will not start charging this battery or allow you to jump it it keeps saying zero percent battery dead will not go um so that's one of the issues i have with it so it's not quite what they say it is on that part um, it does charge really, really well. Like when I turned this on, it was at 10%. I have it on auto select. It's saying that it's 60% right now. Um, I did notice that another thing about this is when you select your ampage, if you go to the 15 amp and leave it, it says that it's a full battery. But if you put your voltage meter on the battery, it's only about 60%. A lot of times, you know, 12 volt battery um, will only charge up just enough to start the vehicle. It'll give it a burst of energy. Um, I actually had this in my lawnmower yesterday. I was able to um, get it, couldn't get it started because it was on zero. I jumped it off with the truck, um, mowed a little bit for a, just a few minutes, forgot about it got off the lawnmower to pick up a piece of trash out of the yard boom i went to go hook it back up wouldn't work um so i had to put jumper cables on the battery get it going to get some kind of charge in it before i could put this on there i purposely left the the key on all night to redrain this battery down so i can make this video but them are the, some of the issues that i have and i have some comments um about people using it once or twice and it breaking and never working again um like i said i've had this probably around seven eight months now um 
I haven't had any problems. I've used it a lot. Um, I've taken it to work, um, charged batteries on diesel trucks and, uh, you know, 2500 HD trucks, you know, F-250s. Haven't had a problem with it. Uh, so I think it all has to do with quality of the manufacturing. You will get some good with the bad. Um, like as of right now, we are at 60% in holding. So I think this battery might have a dead cell. Um, I did notice that um, I had it on another battery that was in my shop that I keep for jumping stuff off. Um, and it came up battery failure. And it was stuck on the screen, battery failure. Even after I took the cables off the battery, it's still locked in the battery failure mode until I unplugged it. So that's another issue that I see sometimes that it will lock up the screen. Um, all in all, I think I originally paid, um, I got it the first week that they came out, and I think I paid $39.95 plus out of 20% coupon. It was before Viking was added to the coupon. I kind of got snuck in there that first week or whatever. Um, all in all, it's been a good charger, and I have um, a lot of good things to say about it, but also have a lot of problems that I don't like about it. Um, we're going to put this one on recondition, uh, see if it will correct this battery. If not, we know that it's not going to work. All right, well, I hope that you, you know, like this video. Um, Please, like always, give it a thumbs up, you know, like the video, share it with your friends, leave a comment. I answer every comment, no matter if I get 10,000 comments or one comment. I always answer every comment. If you have ideals for other videos, please leave them in the comments. We have a sheet that we write all the ideals down on. Um, with us being on quarantine right now, I'm going to try to put out a bunch of videos and get to some of those ones that's been put out there. I have about 13 more video ideas. We're going to try to get to them. Um, it has been hectic, or, you know, and I hope everybody's staying safe and, uh, you know, we all fare through this. Until next time, let's work on that honeydew list together and have a great day.